One of the great values that Affinia brings to the market is offering a printer that not only works but is backed by a company that provides full phone and, and email technical support so that you're not alone in your 3D printing adventure. I'm Aaron Pratt with Affinia and we make 3D printers for the prototyping and education markets. This is a 3D plastics printer. It uses ABS plastic to make parts from design files. This is a $1,500 product. It comes out of the box fully assembled and ready to go. It includes a starter reel of filament and all the software you need to get. With a product like this, you can get started making test parts within a matter of minutes. Some of the things that they're doing is they're taking original designs and getting a feel for them. This was printed out in three pieces and assembled together uh, from a design file from a CAD program. And it took only a few hours to go from a design to an actual part. This is additive printing. This takes a 1.75 millimeter ABS filament and extrudes it down to two tenths of a millimeter. This is our filament. It starts out about, about that big around and when it goes through our extrusion nozzle, it comes out at two tenths of a millimeter in diameter and lays it down in single layers. We also do PLA in addition to ABS, uh, but ABS is by far the most popular plastic right now that we're working with. A lot of people are already using these products in the hobbyist market. One of the things that we're beginning to see is development in the prototyping market for a first fit product where a lot of companies might have a more expensive machine, a more detailed machine available to them. That machine is under a lot of demand and expensive to operate. And for a first part, just to see if it works and fits, this is the way to go. We're also seeing a, a lot of new interest in the science, technology, engineering, and math programs of high schools and in uh, colleges for their design programs because it's encouraging uh, people to engage in the art of design when they get to touch and feel something that they made while they're still in school. The machine itself is very simple. It has an extruder nozzle and a few stepper motors that move the product around. Uh, it's actually very simple to repair as well in the field. Um, the real beauty behind these machines lies in the software. We have very powerful software that's been leveraged down from a high-end solution that allows a user to bring in a part, scale it, place it, and begin printing it without taking a lot of extra steps, and it's very reliable. This part right here took about an hour and a half to print. Something like this took about four or five hours and has a lot of added detail to it. No, I'm not an engineer, I'm a marketing guy, and I was up and using one within about a half an hour. This is a way to really materialize what's in your head and I think it's a missing step that's out there right now. It's not going to replace uh, full-scale manufacturing or tooling, but what it is going to do is allow you to do it more quickly and more cheaply and to find your errors more quickly and to get excited about the design. There are some limitations. Our envelope is a little bit smaller. We can only print up to five and a half inches in each dimension, and our resolution is limited to two-tenths of a millimeter. But for many applications, that's sufficient for a first part or a test part. So this is a $1,500 desktop printer. It puts printing on your desktop in your office at only $1,500 and gets you started making products in a matter of minutes. See us and other quality suppliers at d2p.com.